Have you ever been out for a walk and spotted that frothy stuff stuck to plants? Wonder what it is? Spittle, or cuckoo spit as it's sometimes known, is produced by insects called spittle bugs. Some people call them frog hoppers or cuckoo spit insects. When these insects are young, they're called nymphs. These nymphs surround themselves with frothy spittle to protect themselves against predators and from drying out in the sun. A wide range of plants are under threat from a disease called Xylella fastidiosa. This bacteria lives in the tubes that transport liquid inside plants and can block them. This can cause wilting, leaf scorch and even kill herbaceous plants, shrubs and trees. Spittle bugs spread the disease when they feed on infected plants so it's important to understand their behaviour. Fortunately, Xylella has not yet been recorded in the UK. However, if it arrives here, we need to know as much as possible about where these insects occur and what plants they feed on in order to decide how best to respond. This is where you can help. If you see spittle, let us know where you find it, and importantly, what sort of plant it is on. You can have a go at identifying the spittlebug nymphs too, which usually appear at the end of April and around until the end of June. If the spittlebug is on smaller plants, such as thistles, nettles, buttercups, garden sage or lavender, it's likely a felanius spittlebug. These are pale yellow to lime green in colour, with no dark markings. If the spittlebug is on grasses, sedges or rushes, it's likely in the neophelanius group. These are pale yellow with a dark band just behind the head. Finally, if you find spittle on trees, especially willows, it's probably an Aphophora spittlebug, usually darker coloured, particularly the head. If you see spittlebugs, please make a note of the location as a grid reference or postcode and submit your recordings online.